Hey guys, Michael here from the Shiny Charger, and I'm back with another video. And today, we have a different camera angle because I am recording a box. So I need it to face down. So enjoy my hands, because you're going to see my hands. So let's get on to the review. So, you guys know, if you guys have watched uh, a couple of my older videos... I have razor things. This does. This is a poor example because this is PewDiePie, but not razor. But it's a razor product. I have razor things. This is this is razor because it was made by razor. This was this was made by this was made by razor. This is a razor product. You can tell because it says fortune. So, or if that well, that was a pretty poor example, I got razor stickers. I, I like I like razor things because I that's my basically my entire gaming setup. If you see my Sonosa Chroma review, Mamba Elite review, Firefly review, which I don't think I've done yet, my Razor Kraken review. Literally a couple 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 months ago, I reviewed these on on my birthday. I reviewed these because I had just gotten them. Oh yeah, and I did, I did, I did end up getting the cable for those, those headphones. Quality headphones, they're pretty poggers. Pretty good, pretty good headphones. So now let's actually get onto the review. So, it is a mouse, because I got a new mouse. Razor Basilisk Ultimate. Yep. Reviewing, reviewing another Razor product. So this is a mouse called the Basilisk ba Basilisk Ultimate Pog. Now this does have RGB, Razor RGB as usual. Uh, hyper speed technology, which means it's very fast, and you can eat no, no, no. Uh, what's it called? No latency, which means slower slower reaction in game. And the Focus Plus DPI sensor, which is allows you to have two twenty thousand DPI. That's a pretty uncontrollable mouse. Razor. Uh got the mumbo jumbo over here. Uh other stuff. More mumbo jumbo. Razor. Let's open this up. And it has a little pull pull tab thingy. I I like that. And this box is magnetic. And I have already opened this box. Keep in mind, I just needed to. I opened. I had already opened this for to get my opinion on it because I wanted to have a solid opinion and viewpoint on this mouse because it was pretty expensive. We'll get onto the price later. So no unboxing knife needed for now. No no knife. No unboxing knife needed. Very cool knife. I like it. No unboxing knife needed. No tape. Hooray! So let's open this up. Box is magnetic. I don't know how these wizards did it. Let's open this up. And pretty good presentation so far. You got the mouse charging dock. We'll get more into that later. You got a little cushiony foam, and which has ended up denting and denting into the pattern. Now we got the mouse. Got the, got the mouse. Put that aside for now. Got the charging dock. Put that to the side for now as well. Now we have a little pull area, a little hole thumb on the foam. Move up that foam. Put that there. Then you got this stuff. Usual razor. Thanks for buying razor product. Buy more. Buy more. Give us more money. You got that little card, and then you got the booklet and the razor stickers are in there but I do not care to take them out. Just keep in mind that razor 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 put the stickers in there. And razor does have the stickers in here. Let's put that to the side for now as well. And now we have the cable. Black as usual to the side for now and a little paddle we'll get to that later 
And let's close up the box. Close up the box. Phone box. Close. Let's put that aside. And now let's get all the product. Let's get all the stuff in line. We got the mouse, charging dock, cable, and little paddle and little paddle right here so let's start off charging dock let's put these guys to the side for now charging dock now this is a magnetic charger so what you do is you have your mouse here you got these two little golden indents got these two little golden pegs and what you do is line the two up line the two up and it's magnetic and it locks in. It's magnetic. Watch. You got your mouse on the charger. Uh, besides that, Razer logo. If it'll focus. You got a USB slot. Get to that later. And we got a port for wire. RGB. And stuff. This these pads are very sticky. Used to be very sticky. Now they're le le less sticky, so it won't slide around while on your desk. Useful. Let's get on to the features. So let's get on to this most interesting part, in my opinion, the USB part. So if you guys did not know, this mouse is wireless. So you got your you got your USB dongle. 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. Gotta have that. And you have your cable. Quality cable. I read it. So you have your mini USB to USB A. And these two are the same type of USB as you can see. Same type of USB. Same type as USB. So. Using both of these takes up two slots, and you only have a limited amount of slots in USB, USB A slots in your computer or laptop. So what Razer decided to do is you have your USB. So what you do is you stick your USB A dongle, 2.4 gigahertz, into there, and it's a nice little area inside the charger. And what you do? Put the USB mini in there, so the top area says top, stick your cable in there, stick your cable in there, and then you stick your USB A into your computer and you use one USB slot for two USB. It's pretty smart. I rate that feature. Good feature. But that's about it on the wire on the charging dock. Nice, uh, not so heavy made of nice materials and I really like the USB design. Just going on to other things. Put that to the side. Let's speak about this cable. Put that to the side. So this cable is very long. I have this part tied up because I don't want to have it too long. But these are very long so it can connect to your PC tower. Uh, nice, nice braided cable. Very nice. Uh, this did come with a USB cover, but I took it off. You have this. Very nice. Nice and sturdy cable. Nice braidedness. Very long. Which swiftly brings us into the mouse. So this cable can go into the mouse. If it says top, it has top on there. And you put that in to the mouse. And boom, you can use it wired if you want it to be wired, even though you paid quite a bit of money to get a wireless mouse. You have the option to be wired if you're running low on battery and you don't have your you don't have your charging dock with you. You can always use the cable. Pretty smart, but not the most efficient. So yeah, this is a pretty nice cable. Get more opinion uh, get more into my opinion later. Mouse. I I rate this 
very nice and comfortable. This is a right-handed mouse, not for left-handed people. Even though I am left-handed, I prefer to use my mouse with my right hand. Nice, nice thumb pad. Nice thumb pad on the right side for thumb rest. It says thumb rest is nice. You have your score wheel, which you have. You can adjust the resistance of it with this little scroll wheel. You got 11 programmable buttons. You can move this to the side. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, yeah. So you got your logo right there. You got the very nice satisfying clicks. Nice satisfying clicks. Let's go to the bottom. You got pure plastic feet, which means it's super slippery. I do not have a mouse pad. Super slippery. You got your uh, on and off button right there. You got your USB dongle area right there. You can hide it. Next up, let's get to this little paddle. So now this is one of the 11 programmable buttons. Now you have here a little pad, rubber piece. Now you can take it off right there and put this little paddle on. And boom, you got a programmable button paddle. It does take up a bit of space. You do need to move your thumb in order to use it, but just your hand to use it. You can change this to be whatever you want. You can make it so if you press it, it'll open up uh, settings or whatever you want. Pretty nice, nice sound. This mouse overall is very satisfying with the click. So, now that we've talked all about that, let's boot this up. So I'm going to grab USB dongle right and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the computer be right back and so I'm plugging it in now arming up the mouse Just let the mouse connect and now to turn on the mouse and you got your RGB. Raise your logo. Let's put this back on. Where did that go? Right there. You got your Razor logo. Look close. You got your uh, scroll wheel. You got your RGB strip here. RGB strip here. And yeah. And now that's a, that's nice that's nice and colorful. I am currently using the computer. Very nice. It's a very nice mouse. I definitely like this mouse. Uh, we can also plug this in, but it's way too far. This part glows, and it's cool. So now let's get on to my opinion and the price. So now, let's bring all this stuff over. Guess the price. Uh, it's wireless, so it's gotta be at least over 100. Comes with a thing, maybe like 20 bucks. Nah, this is 170 bucks. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not being sarcastic at all. This is 170 bucks. I mean, this entire package is 170 dollars, maybe even more. But if you want, Razer added a different solution. You can take away the really efficient and really good charging dock, and just get the mouse. You just get the mouse, 
paddle and cable and you use the cable to charge it. This would one this would end up being $142. Yep. Not being sarcastic as well. Still pretty expensive. But you know how much this thing is alone? Let's get these guys out of here. You know how much this is? You know how much this is alone? Around 30 30 to 40 bucks. Wait. Around 30 to 40 bucks. One second. Yeah, this thing alone, this thing alone is 50 bucks. And this is 140. So you're actually getting a good deal. Razor didn't, didn't screw you of your money. They didn't take away your money. They gave you a good deal. They gave you a great discount on this. 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. You got $20 off for this. This is the same thing that works with the Viper Ultimate, but I don't have the Viper Ultimate. So, I think it's a pretty good deal, honestly, but it is very expensive, very expensive. Now, if you need a, 11 programmable buttons, you want super fast stuff, you want, this is all, this changes the DPI, these two buttons. If you want super fast, super fast, you want super fast stuff, you want your charging dock to charge your, to charge your mouse. You want you want your wireless mouse that has a charging dock and everything. If you want this, gotta pay the price. 172 bucks. Now, but you can get this wired for about 40 to 50 bucks. Or 60, I don't remember. Which has the same amount RGB. RGB, RGB, same, same feet that are super slippery, except it's always wired. You can't, you can't have it wireless. But, Michael, didn't you mainly buy the mouse to, uh, have it wireless? Yeah. Yeah, you probably did. You wanted, you wanted a wireless mouse. So, Razer made another version, the Bassless X. Hyperspeed, which has no RGB, which I kind I kind of like the RGB because RGB looks cool. But if you don't want RGB, you can get the best of this Hyperspeed, which is fifty six bucks. It's wireless, and it doesn't doesn't come with the doesn't come with the paddle, which I don't really use at all. So it doesn't come with the paddle. RGB doesn't come with this or this. Because it uses a double A alkaline, which makes it heavier in the back. But if you don't want to buy the Razer stuff because you don't want to give Razer any money, you can buy the Logitech G502, which is di this is what this direct is directly competing with. Razer completely made this mouse to complete with the the G502. Truman edited a picture of the G502 here. Edited. Edit a picture of the G502 there. G502 Lightspeed, which is Logitech's wired mouse, which has the same same thumb pad. Same thumb pad. Same shape and everything. Same shape. Same right handedness. Except less RGB. And I find this to be more. to be more, uh. Less cluttered because I find the G502 to be very, 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 very cl cluttered. Very cluttered. Very, very cluttered. Cluttered. It's very cluttered. So, yeah, but um, I I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the hundred seventy dollars if you want the RGB, you want it to be wireless, you want all the stuff. If you want, you can get it. But it's very expensive. 
$172. Let's get on to the, let's get on to the battery power. Oh, you know how much battery power it is? 100 hours. One double O. One double O. Oh, oh, one, oh, oh. 100 hours of battery life. Four days. That is four days. But guess what? That's without all this RGB. But, wait, wait, didn't, didn't you get, didn't you get that, that the thing for the RGB? Yep, but this is on 100 RGB. Has about 20 hours of battery life. Not even a full day. Currently, it was on 100% charge this morning. Is on about 99. Yeah, it's lost one percent. But this was made in 20, 2019, I believe. Two years ago. And people all over Reddit were complaining about bad battery life. But guess what? They they fixed it. They they fixed the battery life. They made it good. Still 20 hours. But they made this battery life good. I left this on for 20 hours. 24 hours. And, uh, the, it, it was, it was, uh, it was at 4%. 4% for 24 hours. They, they said that, they said it was 20 hours. I got 24 out of this. So, it's pretty good on battery life. They definitely fixed the battery life because people originally were complaining about, like, 6 hours of battery life. With 100% RGB. So, I guess Razer fixed that. So, I definitely think it's worth it. I think if you want the, if you don't like Logitech, if you like Razer, if you're a right-handed gamer and you want a wireless mouse, get the, get, get it. Get, get the Basilisk. Get the, the, get the Snake Boy. Get Snakey Boy. Because Razer's all about naming their stuff after snakes. So, uh, if you want, if you want it, go, go get it. It's on Amazon. It's the Razer Basilisk Ultimate. If you want it, it's uh, sorry. I had it. I, did I have it backwards? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I had I had all the stuff backwards. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm I'm facing this way, not not this way. So if you want, if you want, if you want the mouse, if you want all this stuff, including this little thing, you know, you, you can go. <laughs> if you want all this stuff, pay the hundred seventy two dollars. But if you don't, if you want a cheaper version, but you want wireless and you don't care about RGB, get the Basilisk to Basilisk X Hyperspeed. But if you want all the RGB, but you don't care about it being wireless and you don't want all this stuff, but you just want it to be, just be, and if you want it to just be a normal, if you want it to just be a normal cabled mouse because you don't care. If it if it has our if it's wired or not, then get the Basilisk V2. This is a poor example of the Basilisk V2 because it's the Basilisk Ultimate, but they look the exact same, okay? Eh. So, if you want it, get it. I don't I don't know. If you want it, get it. I don't I don't know. So if you want a good mouse, uh, I definitely I definitely recommend this mouse. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, it's pretty bang for your buck. You get a, quite a bit of features, good sensitivity, good RGB, good everything. In my opinion, I think it's worth it, but if you don't want to spend all this much money on just a wireless mouse, if you want a wireless mouse, get you can get the Basilisk X Hyperspeed, or you can get the Basilisk v, V2, if you just want a wired mouse that looks the exact same and has, and has, and has the RGB. But if you if you don't care, then get then get the then get the, 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 the this. Just if you want your bang, if you want the, the eleven programmable buttons, you want it to be wireless with with all the features. If you want it to be wireless with all the features, then then get the Basilisk. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, roll the outro. See ya.